guys, how are you doing? I hope you're having a good day. And if not, I hope I can make it a little better. So today is International Romany Day. So happy International Romany Day from your friendly neighbourhood, Albino Romany. Let's do some art to celebrate. <laughs> I'm going to use this book, inspired by Romani folklore, to find a subject to draw. The stories are kind of mixed, uh, some you'll be familiar with and some are just like really strange, uh, but the one I really fancy drawing a scene inspired by is The Dog and the Maiden, which is about a young Romani and her friend who is a white dog and might actually be a prince as well. <laughs> so I've done some sketches already, so I could like practice how to draw dogs and outfits. And now I'm going to draw the proper picture. While sketching, I thought I'd give you a quick guide as to who Romanis are. The fact is, you probably do know them, just under a different name. Um, have you ever heard of the phrase Gypsy? Well that's Romanese, only it's the name applied to Romanese by white people when they saw us for the first time. They thought we came from Egypt due to our dark skin and dark hair, so called us Gypsies. But the truth is, we actually originate from Northern India or modern day Pakistan. We prefer to be called Romanese as that's our name, whereas Gypsies was given to us by white people and also is wrong because we don't come from Egypt. There's often quite a lot of confusion as to who is and isn't a Gypsy. All Gypsies are travellers, but not all travellers are Gypsies. So if you're an Irish traveller, you're a traveller, but you're not a Gypsy because you're not a Romany. And only Romanies are gypsies. Does that make sense? So, if you're a hipster person who's decided to spend the rest of their life living in their van, they're a traveller, but they're not a gypsy, because they're not Romanies. So basically, all Romanies, all gypsies are travellers, but not all travellers are gypsies. Gypsies are Romanies, and Romanies prefer to be called Romanies. There you go, that's all you need to know. So this is the finished sketch, uh, I know it's not that easy to see because it's an orange, so now I'm going to ink it with my fine liners.
the basic lines. Um, I am going to add more once I've put colour on top. I'll probably use paint markers to add gold and decoration to the dress. But now I'm going to put a base colour and the shading down with alcohol markers.
So here we have it, a little celebration of my heritage. Would you like me to walk you through the outfit? It's a traditional European Romani outfit. As you can see, she's wearing a cross. That's because Romanies usually adapt to the religion of whichever country they're in. So because she's European, she's Christian. She's wearing coins as a bracelet because Romanies like to show their wealth. So a Romani who's wearing more gold, such as the rings and the coins and the cross, um, means they're wealthier um, than if someone who isn't wearing many coins. <laughs> You can see she's got a long skirt. That's because Romani women are supposed to hide their legs because they're, they're seen as mm, not very clean. So it'd be indecent to wear a short skirt. But your top, you can show as much top as you like. <laughs> and this is her headscarf or a diclo. Um, traditionally, it is worn to show a sign of how available you are to the opposite sex but like young girls can wear them too i think it um goes back to where romanis originated from so north india or pakistan where women wore headscarves after a certain age so there you have it let me know what you like most in the comments oh and if you have any questions about romani culture please also feel free to ask obviously i'm just speaking for myself not the entire romani um, community but yeah i'd love to guide you if you have any questions if you enjoyed this video i'd love it if you gave uh, a like a thumbs up if you started to follow turn notifications on blah 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 all of that all of that share the video so that everybody can learn a bit more about the positives of the romani culture if you want to follow me on Instagram, I'm at Enchanted Violin, and on TikTok at Enchanted Violin. You can find the links in the box below. You can also find links to my online comic companions. I'll see you next time. <laughs>